second day of battle, the Athenians and Spartans take their respective defensive positions. Themistocles in the Artemisian Strait. Leonidas and his 300 Spartans in the Thermopylae Pass. They both prepare for the second Persian attack. The sun comes up on the second day, and Xerxes says, well, uh, enough with the, the, the junior level uh, infantry. We're sending in a big horse. Xerxes sends in a hammering fist of the Persian army. The silent and masked head of infantry called the Immortals. Xerxes decided to send in the Asian Immortals. He believed that once the Immortals were put into action, that that would end the resistance immediately. Here come 10,000 men, assembled them in a rectangle in essence. They wore no helmets, but they had a what's called a tiara on their head. The tiara was a wrapped cloth, a very thin cloth that they could see through. 10,000 strong. They were called immortals because when one man retired or or died, he's immediately replaced by another. The army stands some 50 yards apart in the Thermopylae Pass. The Persians, faceless and mute. But silence is not part of the Spartan psychological strategy. 